Hey, what up, YouTube? X Squad. So I'm finna tell you a story. So I got in a fight at the hookah lounge again. And the funny part about it was, I'm not proud of it, but this time it was with my uh, brother. And if you seen the videos that I posted when I got, you know, basically stumped out by three big ass Samoans, it was that brother, right? Mind you, I ain't been out with him since that shit happened. Cause I ain't wanna go out with him cause niggas start the fight. He start the shit at the goddamn hookah lounge for the uh, big ass morning. You know, if you watch the videos, then you'll know, but I'm gonna break down to you. When that shit happened, he start the fight. Talking shit, running his mouth. You know, I was just trying to protect him. And unfortunately, I got stumped up by three big ass Samoans. <laughs> And uh, so, and that was that was back in 2020. I would say like the end of March, 2020 end of March, and I ain't been going nowhere nowhere with him since then. <clears throat> yes, we spoke about of course. So um, so not the uh, about two weeks ago, I said. You know, I told, you know, I still, you know, I still hang out with him and stuff like that, but I ain't been going out with him. So, about two weeks ago, he was like, oh, I want to uh, go with you. So, at this point, I'm like, all right, fuck it, whatever. Yeah, come through. So, you know, he was, uh, he wanted to come with this new girl he met. So, I was like, all right, man, come through. She never did that. But... You know, he came and shit like that. We well, man, we was having a good, we was having a good old jolly time. But of course, you know, you know, we was both drinking in there and stuff like that. But he was like faded out the booty hole. He was faded out the booty hole, out the head, the booty cheeks and, and stuff like that. You know, I wasn't even drunk. I wasn't even drunk at the time. Everything was good. Like, everything was good. I can't deny that. Everything was good. And then, um, probably, like, after being there for about two hours, the girl, she was smoking the hookah and stuff like that. You know, I was going across the street to my Spanish bar like I always do, listening to some, uh, some Spanish music, drinking my drinks, picking up some, uh, you know, the Mexican honeys and shit like that. And, um... Uh, so I came back, you know, at this time, you know, I had me some, uh, adiosis, had probably like two adiosis and, um, some Henny with Coke and stuff like that, but that, that stuff don't do nothing to me. And then, you know, I came back, you know, we talking and somehow, somehow the brawl about the, um, when we got stumped out by them three big old Samoans were at the other hoop lounge came up. It came up somehow. And it's like, man, this how you really feel? I know you drunk, but this how you really feel? He was over talking about, oh, you didn't do nothing and this and that. My cousin said you didn't do nothing, nothing, you know, nothing and this and that. I said, bro, the dude socked you in your mouth and you standing right behind me. Nigga, the big ass Samoan bust you in your shit. And I, you know, Cause the nigga was about to punch that nigga again. I already cracked the fool, and I grabbed that nigga arm, and you know, we went down. That's how I got stuffed out by the three big ass moons. They were security guards, and uh, you know he was over here running his mouth about that stuff, talking about, oh, you was protecting the brand and this and that. And I'm like, bro, I was pre I was protecting my brother. Hey, what you mean protecting the brand? I get it. You a rapper now and stuff like that. Doing your shit. And I was sitting there telling like, bro, I was protecting my brother. What you, what are you talking about? The, protecting the brand. Then he started, you know, he started talking about, oh, I, you know, he supposedly got more money than me. Talking about some money, this and that. And in my, and in my head, I'm like, man, no wonder why these, uh, someone or something punched your ass out. Damn, I'm like, man, I should let them Samoans beat your ass. Let you get stumped the fuck out. Like, what, what, like, what do you mean? But anyways, no, he's talking crazy, talking about, oh, 
he'd kill me and stuff. I try, you know, I try to give him a pass. I'm looking at the, I'm looking at my brother like, and I told him, I'm like, bro, you know who you talking to right now? I said, nigga, you talking to your brother, fool? You ain't talking to no enemy or something like that. Like, nigga, you talking to your brother? You know, he's sitting there, oh, I'll kill you. Then he started trying to bang on me and stuff, right? So I'm like, nigga, I don't even bang. So I'm like, nigga, what? I said, yeah, at that point, I was like, all right, nigga, on crit, nigga. At that point, I started feeling like fucking C Mac 5'5. Uh, five, five. I'm like, nigga, I don't hood. I don't hood. Nigga, you guster. <laughs> That's how I started feeling like. So I told that nigga, I said, all right, fool. Nigga, I don't crib. Nigga, come outside. Nigga didn't want to go outside at first. I told that nigga about four, five times. Nigga, come outside. Nigga, I ain't taking that shit, bro. Come outside. So I probably like the fifth or sixth time, nigga, finally came outside. So, you know, he hit he, he the little brother. I hemmed him up, put that nigga on a pole. Like, nigga, what's, I, I'm still trying to tell the fool. Like, I'm like, hey, yo, calm down, nigga. You need to calm down, bro. You tripping right now. It's like, you tripping, nigga. You drunk. All right, so be it. He didn't want to calm down. He tried to overpower me. Like, bro, nigga, do you not know how I bench press, nigga, 315 pounds, nigga? And lift boxes heavier than you at work? You know, he tried to overpower me. He's still talking shit. Still talking shit while I got him up on the pole. And then he said something crazy. I forgot what the fuck he said to me. But he said something crazy. So I'm like, man, fuck this shit. So I threw, man, I threw that nigga ass down on the ground like he was a fucking rag dog, bro. Threw his ass on the ground. And mind you, we ain't, we outside the hookah lounge. My spot. Throw him on the ground. I know a security guard, so he let the shit happen. Threw him down on the ground because, you know, and uh, the girl he came with, she was just, ah, oh my God, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I ain't listen to that shit. I ain't gonna lie. My brother did crack me in the eye. He, he hit me one time in the eye because I like tripped over his feet. And when I was trying to get up, he was already up. So he swung on me, hit me in my eye. But shit felt like a goddamn mosquito bite. But he had uh, he had some rings on and stuff like that. So like kind of scratched my eye and my nose when he hit me. Then, you know, I got him down on the ground. Then by the time I get on top of him, I'm about to pound this nigga shit out. Like I ain't, I'm a boxer. I didn't want to hit him. Cause that is my brother. I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want to do damage to him and stuff like that. So that's why, you know, use the ground game and uh, lock his feet in. Cause I am trained in MMA. Lock his feet in, get on top of him after all that. Man, like right when I'm about to pound this nigga out. Oh, now a security guard <laughs> was like, oh, 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 stop it, get off of him, get off of him. Like, man, what you mean? You, you, you done stop this fool when you seen him clearly hit me in my damn eye. But now you wanna you wanna stop the shit? When I'm on top of him, got him locked in. Like man, I'm gonna pound this nigga shit. But it was like, it was like that taught me a lesson. Like damn, that's how you really feel. That's how you really feel about this stuff. That's how you really feel about me. Or you feel about family? Talking about we protecting the brand. Like bro, you ain't even like yeah you you a rapper. But nigga, you still like a SoundCloud rapper. Like, what do you mean protect the brand? And after that, I was just like, damn. I should have let them big ass Samoans beat the fuck out that nigga. Like, shit, that would have saved my god. That would have saved me and, and, and end up with some goddamn bruises. Since I was the one getting stuffed out by some big ass Samoans for your ass. But, you know, I still ain't talked to him since. But it is what it is. Like, you know, sometimes you got to teach motherfuckers and shit like that. Because I guess he, you know, because I don't be fighting and stuff like that. I'm a nonchalant type of guy. Yeah, uh, you know, but I am about that life. Then, you know, he found out the hard way. Like, I don't give a fuck. Nigga, come outside, fool. Come outside. But at least them three big ass smalls wasn't there because uh yeah, nigga probably got stumped out again. <laughs> but that's the end of the story, bro. It's a sad story, but it's in this story. You know, don't be talking about money and this and that. Like I ain't your family. Like, bro, I come from money. Like, what the fuck? You ain't come from money. I come from money. Like, just cause you getting money now, nigga, don't don't act brand new. 
but it is what it is. <laughs>